What's going on guys? Welcome to the show today. I'm Mark here from Back to the Media and we're going to go out and look for some records today. Um, I'm actually in a really good mood today. Our store was just featured in our local newspaper so they just did a big article on us about our live record auctions that we do every Saturday night at 7 o'clock um, on our Facebook page. If you guys aren't familiar with that, we, we start records at a dollar a piece and then let them go for a few minutes and then what they end for is what they end for and then we ship them anywhere in the country. So if you guys like to support us, support our YouTube channel, support our business, you can visit us on Facebook and uh, every Saturday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So our local paper thought that would make a good article and uh, how we battled through the pandemic doing that. So that was pretty cool. You'll probably see it, see it in another episode or you might have already seen it. So today I'm heading up to Pennsylvania. We're gonna be about 100 miles east of Pittsburgh up here in Bedford County. I got a uh, flea market to hit. Um, I know there's a Goodwill up here. I don't have any leads, but I do got a couple like things working, so maybe something will come out of it. We're in like mountainous country, guys. It's lots of peaks and valleys up here. Pennsylvania mountains. Pretty scenic up here. If I can stay on the road. <laughs> Sun shining today. It's always a good thing starting to warm up a little bit maybe spring's coming happy about that driving through mountains right now guys literally Literally, they just cut a hole in it and put a interstate through it. Sweet. Showweed. The things we do to find ourselves some records. Oh yeah. Okay. Hooky G's, what a name. Let's check it out. A lot of lunch boxes and thermoses. It's pretty cool. Looks like a department store. All right. What's up, Jeff? How's it going? Oh, I think I see some albums all the way over there. Let's go check it out. Guitar. VHS tapes. DVDs. Oh, here we go. Got something here. What do we got? Some Earl Clue, I think. Yeah. Angel. Cool. Gary Puckett. David Sandman. Come on, Harrison Man. I got the music cranking in here. Probably gonna have to edit some of this out. Debbie Harry. And Ron Stat. BTO. That's kind of cool. That I've changed. I've never seen that cover before. Captain Antonio. 
pretty cool. Thought this was good. Look at the rings. Warren G doing I shot the sheriff, that's pretty cool. It's like a single there. Pretty neat though. Got a little stack here going, we'll take a closer look at those ones. See what labels are on. Ooh, that's a good one right there, the vapors. Five bucks, we'll probably pull that. I don't see this one that much. It's kind of an uncommon one. It's still on the shrink wrap. We'll check that out too. The embers. Check that out too. I'm sure what that is. this is. Alright. It's a good deal there. As long as it's in there. Oh yeah. Interesting choice. Uh, this was really cool. Classic silver tin. Look at that. It's pretty neat. Oh, 
that's cool. Just uh, vintage C3PO is pretty cool. Puppet Master. Look at this. That's super cool. Mortician. Looks like he's got like the whole set here. It's pretty neat. Okay, found the uh, music dealer here. A lot of cassette tapes. Shoo wee, a lot of cassette tapes. We do got some vinyl down through here, so start looking through, see if uh, left any good deals to be had. If you want faster pussycat tapes, they got them. Shoo wee. All right, let's start digging. We stock all these too at our shop. That's pretty cool. One. I don't know who's selling this one right now. I don't think I've seen this one. Omen. Omen. Our reissues here. Funny here, wasp. Death like a beast. Move my seat on back. There we go. All right, guys, uh, that was pretty cool. We found some things. Nothing too insane in there, but there was a couple cool things. I'll reach in the back here and show you what all I got today. Uh, first off, we got a Hershey's bar with almonds. Oh, yeah. So there's that. Um, then I grabbed some records here. We got the psychedelic guitar sounds. That's kind of cool for two bucks. I was like, yeah, why not? Um, I grabbed this because this is hilarious. Look at this. It's like Miss Piggy aerobics. Um, it's in the shrink. I've never seen this before with the hype sticker. Um, I got a customer that'll want that. Guaranteed. That's going to get a good home. Um, this was still sealed. This is Lee Lovett. Uh, this is Lee Lovett Jazz Dance Party. Uh, it was two bucks. I'll check it out. I might open it. Um, I got to look it up, see if it's, uh, you know, worth keeping sealed or worth leaving sealed. Um, I grabbed this. This is like prog rock. Um, this is Gypsy in the Garden. I've never listened to this before, but uh, it looked pretty cool. I've never seen it before, so I grabbed it. Uh, Gypsy in the Garden. So, and it was ten bucks, and I think that's a pretty good deal on this one. It's kind of, kind of obscure. 
Mighty Lemon Drops for $2. That's a pretty good price on that. And it is a gold stamp promo, which that's always pretty cool. Two bucks, why not? We'll get that. Uh, this was kind of hard to get. I think it's a UK. Eh, it might not be. I'm not sure. Um, but it, this is Kings and Queens. And it's on a strange label here that I'm not super familiar with. This is LaVille. I might have pronounced that right. 1984, but it's rock and it was five. So I might listen to this one. See what that's all about. Got the Vapors. Five bucks. That's a great deal. I sell it for at least twice that usually um in our shop and it always sells quickly great uh great record you know it's got the song turn in japanese i think i'm turning japanese i really think so the romantics this was only five but it's still in the shrink uh this is probably an upgrade to my copy so i might upgrade that one and i grabbed this angel in there uh white hide it was still in the shrink as well uh super clean condition five bucks again that's going to be another collection piece as well um Grabbed a stack of cassettes in there because they were only a couple bucks. I'll show you what I got there in the cassette realm. Fate's Warning. Pretty cool. Um, this was Heavy Metal Rules. It's got Poison, Megadeth, Anthrax. Uh, that was pretty cool for a couple bucks. Naughty by Nature. Grab that. Um, Hip-hop tape's getting very hard to get anymore. Uh, Dangerous Toys. This is Hellacious Acres. I wish it was on... Uh, vinyl but uh it's on a tape fate's warning another one here night on brocken uh fate's warning there pretty cool i got buddy guy excellent blues guitarist um he was just awesome and i'm surprised to see this on a cassette tape so i grabbed the buddy guy and dangerous toys so grab those um oh wait i got more tapes too I got Ten Machine, which was uh, David Bowie was in that group. Did a little side project thing. Gotta hold that up to the camera there. There you go. Ten Machine, uh, another one of these Motley Crews. He had a couple of these. I grabbed them all because this is getting hard to get. Grab that one. Uh, this is weird. This is another Carnival. Enjoy the ride. Never listened to this before, but uh, another Carnival. Enjoy the ride. I got these big stickers like right on them, so I'll take them out of the case there. There you go. Um, not familiar with this, uh, so we'll check that out. I thought that was cool for just a couple bucks. There's the 10 machine. This looks like it's been edited because, uh, we have this one vinyl at the shop and, uh, this is a, uh, an edited version of it. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. All right. So we got those and I got some games in there. Three bucks for Grand Theft Auto five i want to say our shop still sells this for more than three dollars so grab that one for three bucks uh guitar hero games i cannot keep them in stock anymore i used to throw them away believe it or not everybody's like what throw them away yeah because i had like 80 copies of this game and it got to the point where we throw them in the bargain bins nobody would buy them and then we just bag them up and throw them out so that's what stores do sometimes it's costing you more money on your shelf than it is being uh taking up space in the shop basically put something else in its place that actually generates money but now here i am at a flea market buying them back again what a dumb move anyway let's go uh there's a goodwill up here we'll go check it out see what else we can find oh my god right there oh it's a calendar uh Ooh. The baby squealing in there CDs here. I don't know if that's a mad baby or a happy baby. <laughs> what is this contraption here? Look at this. Say so what?
Good Christ. Things arrive with the summer coming. Oh, better shut that off. A little bit of Clint Black on there. I like Clint Black. Anybody like Clint Black? Um, anyway, just got out of there. I don't know why I snapped my finger like that. I just got out of the Goodwill. Somebody's staring at me that works at Cricket Wireless right there. Probably wondering why I'm talking to myself. Uh, I didn't get a lot of footage in there because there was some dude just like all hovered all over the records there uh, looking at the books. But I did grab a couple things and uh, I did find another place that's still open till 6. So we got a little bit of time. Um, let me make sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. Bear with me. Um, John Denver Muppets, 99 cents. I sell this record all the time. Um, it's a cool little novelty thing. Annie soundtrack, 99 cents. Nothing, you know, nothing great. I ain't pulling no slayers out here to show you. Uh, I did see this. This looked weird. Uh, this was Burgett Grimstad. I hope I pronounced that right. I probably didn't. But, uh, this looks, uh... This definitely is like an import of some sort. Um, Norway. So it's a Norway piece. Looks like folk rock. Um, I didn't look this up yet, but uh, it was 99 cents and it looked too good to leave behind. So um, if, it's, if it's strange, man, I grab it. You know, that's just how it is. So let's go to this next place. Bits of time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been to this place before. I didn't think I have, but I have been. I don't think it was called that before, though. Um, I came here with my mom one time. Mom's a big avid uh, yard sailor, flea marketer. Might be where I get it from. She uh, always likes a good deal. Maybe I'll have her on an episode one day. Let me know in the comments if you want to see uh, me and my mom going out buying records. It might be uh, <laughs> it might be it might be a little little different, but it'll be a, it'll be exciting. You never know. <laughs> All right, we have made it, and I have already found my section. Sweet. In here, start digging around 78s, 45s. I got it all. I like it. All right, now this one's beautiful shape. I mean, that thing is just pretty, very, very nice. Jones. Get into some jazz now. Sweet. Jimmy Smith. Most of these are like nine dollars each, so some of these <clears throat> I'm not gonna be getting, obviously. Yeah. Got a few of them back there. A little bit of jazz. They were in just excellent condition. Pretty cool. We'll look at him in the car. This is kind of cool. Beatles Let It Be book. It's like a guitar music book, song book. It's just pretty neat here. Like vintage dinosaur collection. <laughs> I think this guy looks like he might be from Hercules or something. I don't know. So there we go. Uh, just left here and what would you know? Look at that. Found another copy of Grand Theft Auto 5. <laughs> this is my third copy today. It's pretty hilarious. I grabbed this one here. Dizzy Gillespie Quintet. It's in beautiful condition. I grabbed this Dave Brubeck. It's a Columbia 6i and it is just gorgeous. I'll show that to you in a second. And grab this Dave Brubeck too. It is a Columbia 6i as well. I'll show that to you in just a second. I might be able to do it like that. There you go. The vinyl is just, just perfect. It looks very, very nice. Um, they were 10 bucks, so pretty good, pretty good deal. I'm going to keep those because they're probably upgrades to the ones that I have. Um, I don't, I don't even have this one, so I thought that was cool. This even had the original Columbia bag. That's in, it's in great shape. Very cool. I did grab some card top loaders because these are just selling out everywhere and I can't even get any right now. But there's a dealer in there that had a ton of these, uh, for four bucks a pack, so I bought almost all his packs a lot of uh, penny sleeves so we do sell pokemon cards as well 
All right, guys, it's past five o'clock now. Um, mostly every place is shut down by now, so we're gonna head on back. Uh, hope you enjoyed riding along today. Please like and subscribe. We found a few things today. I guess uh, up here in Pennsylvania, they don't wanna play uh, Grand Theft Auto V anymore. So, <laughs> but uh, we always need these games. We're always buying them um, because I, I sell out of this game a lot. It's like the one of the best selling 360 games there is. Um, found a lot of records today. Got some jazz, got a little bit of rock. Um, just a little bit of mixture of everything there. So uh, not an insane day, but hey, you know, brought the camera along to just get some footage, um, checking out some new spots here and there. Um, but hope you hope you guys do like the content and uh, we'll keep bringing videos. Let us know in the comments what kind of stuff you'd like us to do, what kind of stuff you'd like to see. Uh, we'll try to accommodate within reason. So thanks guys. And until next time, we will see you around.